Yo, what's going on guys? Clutch Like here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video where today I'll be showing you guys my old exotic craft world which used to be a server but now it's it's dead. It, it's straight up dead. Um, but I'm bringing it back to life with the exotic craft online which if you haven't seen the official gameplay trailer yet um, make sure you go see it. It's really good. I spent a lot of time on it especially on the server. It's almost been a year ever since I started working on that server so, but anyway, basically I want to give you guys a little tour of the um, older version so you have like kind of an idea of what to expect and not expect because I also want to go through the improvements I'm wanting to make the, and um, a bunch of errors that was wrong with this server basically. Basically, whatever's wrong with this server, it's going to be put together right in the newer server. And I hate this weather. Um, but anyway, um, let's start off with spawn. Um, spawn, honestly, I like this spawn. Spawn, I think we did okay with. However, um, a few errors here, um, for one. Um, the NPCs, they, they only talk, they don't really do anything good, honestly. Um, they only have buttons, you can't really interact with them, you can't buy or sell anything with them. They, they're just there. They're just there. Like, basically, they're just dialogue NPCs telling you what you should or should not do. Uh, and blah, 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 or whatever. Um, yeah, so that that's, like, a big thing I immediately don't like now. But back then, I'm like, oh, my God, NPCs. Like, we need to add them all. But, um, yeah, NPCs have been improved a big margin in Exotic Craft Online. Because... You can actually buy, sell with them, or even interact with them. And we're still working on a quest thing, which we'll get into right now. Um, another thing is that the only way you can do quests is if you click on these and they'll drop like a little book that has quests on them. Now, um, th now these books are limited. They do not have like a slash clone block underneath them or anything. So it's just first come first serve basically. However, my solution to this was um, if you put the quest back in here once you're done with it, um, then you can just, you know, then I will go in creative mode, put the stuff like from here and put it back in here. Um, however, though, um, it didn't really work out that well because most people didn't even want to return the quests. So, um,. Yeah, we just lost Quest River, that's why all these are like empty. But but anyway, um <laughs> we we're, we're trying to work on a system right right now for um quests. However, um it's not guaranteed that we'll have quests even. But they they'll be somewhat around, like here or there. But um anyway, um, moving from that, let's go up here to the main spawn area. Um, we're up here basically we had a few lootable houses that people can come to first come first serve. Which I still will have in the new exotic craft first come first serve with loot. There will be no regenerative loot pools. However, you could be able to still buy and craft stuff so that kind of like, you know, balances it I'm pretty sure. like. If new players come in while like the OP guys are out there, I feel like that would give them more motivation to like work towards of getting like the stuff in shops and stuff versus um, just like trying to scavenger around for loot. Um, now, one thing that I did not like about this is that right here I have so many barrier blocks because um, people were able to ender pearl into this place I called the auction house. You know, the auction house, um, basically, I was, I used to be right here, used to do, like, nightly deals with players and stuff for, like, people, that I found people's dead bodies, and I put in a shulker box, and I'll auction it off in those item frames. However, um, people were able to ender pearl from the sides, because I had barrier blocks already like this, that way you know it can get in and out, and the only way you can do trades is if you drop an item into that hopper, and then I'll pick it up on the other side. Um, however, since people were able to ender pearl in here, 
um, they were able to grab all my stuff that I had in here, which included some of my admin stuff, which kind of sucked. So in here, like, look at that. <laughs> like, they can basically get um, hands full of, like, armor and loot. And it just sucked because when I was offline, I couldn't really do anything about it. Or if I didn't see them do it, then I was also a little bit screwed. So, to avoid this issue at all of happening, especially in dungeons, um, if you ender pearl through walls, um, because if you ender pearl like through like the side of the walls with ender pearls and you just spam them, like what's the point of even doing it? You're gonna be trapped outside the map because you'll be in adventure mode, so you get stuck, and it's just like ga game breaking. So to avoid that problem, we just banned ender pearls. We got rid of it in the loot pool. It's impossible, should be impossible until the end event to get ender pearls. But by the time the end event happens, it's going to be officially the end of the game. So, yeah, I do, I would not care at that point because at that point, all the areas that you will be able to unlock with required dungeons, um, which I'll get into what required dungeons are in a second, um, because my god, I just screwed that up. Basically, what required dungeons are is um, required dungeons you have to do in order to um, beat the game, basically. Um, required dungeons, like, let's just say, like, this zone is locked with a gate. The only way you can do it is if you defeat the boss and open the gate through that dungeon. So that way, when you go up to the surface, the dungeon door will be completely open and people will be able to go free into the public like it's free to the public um however um the, however i will be locking these individually in the official version of the game because i want the game to run slower and i don't want people just to speed run to the end of the game so that way like in a month the game is just beaten somehow because of those tryhards so i just stay up 24 7. i do not want that happening because if it takes me a year to build it, I want it to at least take like three to four months of people beating the game. So, in order to take it slow, I'll have more events and stuff like that come out. And, uh, basically makes the game run slower, it keeps the server active, and it just brings a bunch of prize positivity <laughs> um, to the server. Versus um, just having it be speed run like this one. And I do not, I did not like how everything got looted within one day, and that's not a joke. <laughs> the only thing that wasn't looted was the Excalibur place, um, which is a legendary weapon. Someone found it in like day two. <laughs> but anywho, um, the next thing I want to get into is how lame the map is. Okay, if you look right here. People were able to rotate the map, that's why I had barrier blocks around it. But basically, um, this is basically everywhere that had like builds, basically. Um, these little like little marks right here, these little things, those were where towns were. So there was a total of three towns and only one location, like one like extra big location. And it just, it just sucked. I glad I'm making the map 10 times bigger and uh, yeah so the another reason why the game got beaten in a week not a week a day is because the server was built in one week and possibly two and me and Gabe to be honest we had no idea what the hell we were doing I just came with the idea since Gabe had his client back which could make these overpowered weapons because I was on Switch at the time and I cannot manipulate the game's code or anything with that with like a hack client or anything, but now I can. So that's how we have the original Lucidator and Excalibur, which by the way, these weapons have been downgraded slash upgraded. The Lucidator got a big downgrade um, while Excalibur got an upgrade. So, but. Elucidator still does the same amount of attack damage versus Excalibur that um, got improved attack damage and improved stats and stuff. But anywho, um, I think that's the majority of spawn, honestly. The only thing that I did not do, however, was um, this area over here. 
Um, the nether did not mess with it at all. <laughs> now we're going to move on to some of the smaller builds in this facility. For example, um, the dungeon towers. Um, these, there is only two of the big ones around here. Um, basically at the top of these ones, um, there would be like a mini boss up here with like full diamond or maybe full netherite. I don't really remember. This was taking place like a year and a half ago. So I don't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure one of these had a baby, um, armor, like baby diamond armored zombie. Um, that was like pretty bulky and it was really hard and I remember a few people died in it. But, um... Anyway, these have been officially removed. We're not bringing these back. We're sticking with the basic small itty bitty dungeon towers, which um, if we fly back to spawn is these ones right here. Uh, these, This one right here. Um, fun fact about this dungeon tower, however, is that I added a pure netherite helmet at the top are here and someone obviously got it and there was a armor stand somewhere that like basically stood right here but like it had like a fishing rod on it so hinting that you could use the fishing rod to fish it out of the item frame that's how you get it because you couldn't build in this facility due to the not deny blocks being like very like low underground which is another issue i need to get to deny blocks um they were a pain they were a massive pain to deal with because I just used slash fill, didn't really knew, know where they were. But since I missed a few spots in like these big areas, because those are, these are the only areas we'll have the nine blocks, um, people were just able to break through some of this and just, it, it was not good. It ruined some of the builds. So that's why in the official version of Exotic Craft Online, we'll have people just stuck in adventure mode they will not be able to break things or build things. They'll just be stuck in adventure mode. Um, so that makes it so that way the game is more fair. Because if you could just mine through all the freaking dungeons, then what the hell's the point of having them? Like, it's it's common sense. Then um, another issue that I have with this server is... Um, um, Kind of like more back to the map, honestly. Because since the map was so small, um, that means more OP loot can be found. Because to me, back then on Switch, um, like all like I can only load in a certain amount of chunks. So to me, on Switch back then, the this was like all like very far away. Like the here from there, that was like a luxury. That was like very far away. But now you can obviously tell that they were so cl close and you can easily get overpowered loot very fast. Um, but anyway, oh yes, here, um, basically these are, um, the tall grasses, um, this is why I like to call hunting zones, okay? Basically, you know in Pokemon, where you run into the tall grass and get your encounter? It's kind of like this, except, um, like with m mobs, obviously, and when you kill them, you get the loot from them, um, but however, you wouldn't be able to sell the loot or get any monster points from them. But, at Exotic Craft Online, uh, you get introduced to the new hunting grounds, where not only it doesn't have mob spawners, they're set on a um, command block timer, and uh, daylight sensors, that way certain mobs can spawn in during day and night cycles. Um, but when you kill them, you can actually sell their loot to NPCs and stuff like that. So, you want to just be getting the loot or XP for fun, um, you actually have a purpose of killing them, so you can get more like cash and points so you can upgrade your gear and go fight bigger and higher bosses and dungeons so these got improved um, and over here um, is um, one of my favorite villages honestly um, down here um, is a, um, a mining village which had basic villager NPCs which um, huh? Which I should make, which I should say this now. These are also removed. NPC villagers fully removed from the game. NPC villages itself removed from the game in Exotic Craft. Because um, how I see it, 
if you're able to get mending books from these villagers somehow by just lucky chance I like the game being more difficult I want you to repair your gear other than just having an enchantment that does it for you so in that case I just removed NPC villagers entirely but however I don't think we had a mending guy here in the first place but I think someone got one like near the end of the server before it died so yeah but anyway um, down here was the very first event of exotic craft in which here's people that place down stuff because you know yet again um, you're not in adventure mode you can break through stuff which I did not like but anyway this is the very first event that we ever had in exotic craft um, basically um, there's a bot over here a warning bot which I said go on your own risk once you enter you can't go back good luck to players and also we this is like the most active we had the server I think the server was almost full um, when this event happened and it was honestly a big giant troll because the button to literally open the door was right here <laughs> was right here but since um, before the skulk spread this was just stone so they didn't see it so what people started doing was um, going through this entire maze um, looking through the crevices that I made and they had like buttons that would TP them back to the start or like just open up this lava trap over here which honestly I was um, in invisible when this happened and I just seen I think it was um, Hector that fell into this um, lava pool and just died since he didn't have any ender pearls and since you couldn't mine up in here he just died <laughs> so that was that was pretty fun to watch but I mean, yeah, it, this place honestly didn't have that really that good of a loot pool either. Like, I think this was one of the secret rooms that had a warden in it, and it had, like, a totem in here or something. Like, I also obviously improved loot pools in, like, higher class dungeons. But, like, in the beginner class, like, dungeons near spawn, they will have, like, deer tier loot, like, stone swords and pop, a rare chance of having, like possibly a 10 attack damage sword so honestly i think i did better on game balancing so um that's a plus and uh oh yeah that's right um i also had a secret dungeon over here um which is um if i can find the but yes here it is this will tp you to the secret dungeon where you can get the legendary weapon called um the sword of luck which basically had um, looting 10 on it and this was a troll room I remember people falling for this um, basically when you open up the chest um, you will fall into a pit of like guardians not guardians um, drowns that had like sharpness 5 and other right swords so they just got stuck down there when the floor closed but however someone did end up being stuck down there and they just killed them all since they were so overpowered that easily which is an Another reason why I made the game more balanced, so that way traps like that could not be as easily avoidable. Now if you just go down here, and yet again this dungeon's pretty small. All the dungeons in this version were pr are pretty small, and right here was the Sword of Luck. And honestly, um, I haven't built the area for the Sword of Luck yet um, in Exotic Craft Online, but um, it will it's it's a legendary weapon because the looting is just so good But um, yeah, if you just want to get out you click that button you'd be teleported right here, so Yeah, one of my favorite villages though like I remember Talking me and Gabe talking when we were building this like a year ago So yeah, this this brings back a little bit of fun memories when we were building it Also, I think I streamed a tiny bit of building this anyway yet again more hunting ground ground similar to like Pokemon yet again you just run in it until you encounter stuff now I want to get to this town over here this town was a blacksmithing town which was supposed to be a shop one but I never added the villagers so that's an oopsie on my part but however I did like these builds right here which basically right here I have like an armor set being worked on like up here and I really love this because I love Gabe how he built these so shout out to Gabe for making these buildings he's such a fantastic builder and I love him for it 
But, um, yeah, he made these buildings, which I'm honestly thinking about bringing back, because, honestly, if you have, like, a several of these in a row, you can easily make a pretty good, decent town with them, honestly. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe these might come back in the official version as a different town. Who knows? Um, but honestly, yet again, these had pretty crappy loot pools since, you know, it's a beginner's town. Oh, there's a butcher in here. Hello. Okay. I didn't know you were here. But, I mean, I designed the insides myself, I'm pretty sure. Which, yet again, I'm not the best decorated, especially inside of buildings. I think I improved on my building, honestly, because if you look at the Exotic Craft Online, I did make some pretty decent builds, in my opinion. Um, but, um, yeah. I think, I think this is a pretty good town, honestly. Probably the best town out of all of them built here. So... Yeah, I, I get this like a B plus town. It's small, but it's okay for like being an early stage of the game. And unfortunately, like one of the only things in this game. Oh yeah, so back to the adventure mode stuff before we get to that place over there, which is probably my favorite build. Um, is that people, since people were able to build, they made like, like little farms and stuff. And, um, I don't know who this house belonged to, but they obviously belong to somebody. And, yeah, you can tell that they had a bunch of stuff ready to build with. But, anyway, screw that player's build. Let's go over here to, um, the old Cloud Kingdom. Now, um, I did a little oopsie poopsie, but yet again, it's not really an oopsie poopsie because it kind of ended up working out. And these clouds up here, they do have deny blocks within them, so... The players themselves would not be able to, like, break in. However, I did not intend for them to build. Basically, I wanted one player to go in on this airship right here. Because these airships have guaranteed elytras in this version. Um, which then will, like, make them fly all the way back up there. And then they can distribute the elytras from these. However, this has been changed in the newer version. I will say that right now. I do have a Cloud Kingdom in the work of progress. But however, since I factory reset my PC and I had Minecraft issues, most of my progress on the new Cloud Kingdom got deleted. So, not enough for me to like to fully scrap Cloud Kingdom, just like a setback for like a few days possibly. So yeah, that kind of sucked. But um, yeah, honestly, I love, I built this castle within a night, one night, and it was a school night, and honestly, not that bad of a build for being built within, like, a few hours, honestly. Um, now, obviously, it ain't the best castle in the world, but honestly, I kind of enjoy it. I think it got the work done, honestly. Got the job done, got it released in time, and, uh, yeah, and honestly, this... A few rooms, honestly, I didn't have, like, a really good idea what to put in them. So I just put in, like, a bunch of random crap. Like a boxing ring. <laughs> and this random thing that no one did. Um, then up here, um, this is where people got very overpowered and made the player base split. Basically, half the people, like, were poor in iron armor. All the other half were, like, in, like, Prot 5 Netherite gear. But, however, people did not take the stuff off the item frames. Sure, like, they're weak enchantments, but, like, you can still use them. So, I don't know why people didn't do that, but, hey, I ain't judging. I mean... <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, yet again, balance is really a main goal in here. And yeah, this is before, like, the bookshelves you can put, like, books within them. Within these shelves. So... Um, honestly, I could have done better in this room, honestly, like, hey, I made the freaking ceiling out of slabs, so the floor ended up in slabs as well. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think this is the final place that I have to show you. Oh, wait, nope, there's one more. Um, basically, um, to dungeons, um, themselves, we only had one dungeon. <laughs> Not including the secret um, Sword of Luck dungeon, which you happen to find a freaking button on the side of the freaking thing, which is BS. Um, but hey, it was funny seeing people look for it. Um, 
but the only dungeon that we built before this version released was um, this one right here. You could Gabe built this thing, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it does. It looks kind of ugly now. I'm not gonna lie with you. I I did not like it. However, um, down here, this dungeon honestly looked more like a dungeon compared to the dungeons I have now because, honestly, every dungeon I make now, it has m less detail but more of a purpose. Like, for example, um, um, like all of them are mazes now compared to this one because, honestly, this dungeon is alright. But, however, it's like put together so quick. So I think if we just put more time and effort into this dungeon, it probably turned out a little bit better than just having like these random floors that people could easily skip and stuff. But um, I honestly like my method of making dungeons better. Plus, by the way, the weapon right here was a stone battle axe. So it wasn't really that worth it coming down here. But however, we did have a boss down here named Tatsugimi, which ended up glitching out because we were trying to ex extend the boss health by adding resistance to it and Gabe added resistance 100 instead of resistance 10 and made the boss basically unkillable until one day someone posted in the discord server back then that they actually killed the boss by trapping it into a corner with the stone battle axe and which ended up um, killing it but however it did cost it all the armor so when it died it didn't drop any armor so yeah that sucked but yeah, um, I think that's basically all the things that I will have to go through. There is no world border. We tried making a world border, but then we just got stuck in an infinite teleportation glitch. So people were allowed to go as far as they want. Now, I do have a Pacific memory up here, which was the admin thing, which honestly still sucks. Um, but basically, a hacker got up here one day, grabbed all the stuff out of here... And, um, yeah, I had to ban them, and some of our items got, um, taken. But lucky for me, I put, like, copies of the shulker boxes with the official weapons into a new chest, so. Hip it parade for that. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We didn't do anything in the nether biome, and I'm probably not gonna make the nether accessible in, um, Exotcraft Online, unless I have time for it, because I'm crunching for time. It comes out in June. Um, I don't have a specific day in June because I was ex hoping that like most of my admins were willing to work but however I did have some non-responsive some like like some like don't even respond to me others just like chip in every single once in a while and once I just live in a completely different country and makes time zones differences um, like hard to work with and some even have their own like real life like problems for example getting sick having other things to do um, I'm not sure if they were lying or not but hopefully they weren't because <laughs> we're crunching for time here but hey I get I understand real life gets in the way sometimes but yeah that is pretty much it for this tour um, if I was stuttering a little bit in this video I'm pretty sorry um, I don't really do good of talking right off my head I basically all the words that I think of immediately come out of my mouth it's a really big issue but if you do enjoy this video make sure you click that subscribe button and maybe the like button too um, and comment down below um, any suggestions um, that you want me to add to the exotic craft online which speaking of exotic craft online if you haven't watched the in-game the gameplay trailer yet it's out now just look up exotic craft online gameplay trailer or trailer whatever it should pop up underneath my username so yeah um yeah that's all i have really for you guys so until next time friends bye